okay welcome back guys so today we are going to be taking a look at how to create input field okay so basically input fields are very powerful components that are basically you see them all over the place on websites on apps forms basically right so we're going to learn how to create a very powerful one today and we're going to be using it in our design but first let's take a look at uh, a form in the real world so basically this is a form you can see it's a contact form and there are some things i want you to uh, you know take note of in this form right forms have uh, different parts so right here where you have first name is called a label so this is a label right and what where you have this grayed out first name is called a placeholder that is a placeholder but when you click inside to start typing whatever you type in is called the value right and um, we have also some forms do have icons maybe icons here on the right or on the left okay now in some forms as well when you type in the wrong value you're going to get a feedback right under here maybe telling you maybe password is incorrect or things like that so these are some of the things we need to anticipate when creating a reusable element because this is going to be a component since we are going to reuse it so anytime you are creating a component you need to be able to you know plan it out and know some of the things you are going to need to in to enable you create a complete component so in our case let's go back here and i want you to come on your app page okay let's just list out some of those things we mentioned we said label okay and we mentioned something like placeholder but you know the placeholder alternates placeholder and value okay and the next thing we talked about there is left and right icons okay and we also want to have the feedback and then maybe forget password okay so basically this is what we want to have in our form and we're going to go ahead and start creating it right away okay so to create that let's go ahead and bring in this frame and let's choose the iphone 14 pro okay once we've chosen the iphone 14 pro we want to go ahead and uh, select this and add that our grid layer grid we want to add the two column grid okay now we want to start creating our design so let's pick our text tool and let me just type in we want to start with this alternating one this placeholder since it's going to be changing it's better we just make it a component so we can easily manipulate it right so let's go over there and type in so let's say uh, placeholder uh, okay let's put in user input okay let's call it user input now for the font we want to go ahead and select uh size 14 so whenever you're working on mobile 14 is very okay for input fields okay so 14 this is our body regular that's what we want to choose now for the color we want to scroll down to our gray 900 remember we said that's what we'll be using for our text i can now you know convert this to a component so select it click on components okay user input now if it is on it's going to be the user input if it is off it's going to be the placeholder so since we are looking at two options let's go ahead and add another variable click here to add a new variable and we are going to call here user input okay user input now for this we are going to say user input is off that means is a placeholder and for this we are going to say user input is on that means is the main text so we can actually switch it easily the next thing i want us to create is to come here user input on right double click inside under the text you want to create this uh, boolean property here and i want to go ahead and say instead of text i want to say on okay create and for this uh double click this one too you want to come here and you want to select create property and you want to select off okay create property great so this is done so we have our user input here so now we can go ahead and start creating our form let's go back to assets and let's type in user input okay this is it right here user input let me drag it in okay 
Now the next thing I want, like I said, we need a left and right icon just in case we need it. So let's go in here under assets. Let's type in user. Let's go for user, user circle. Let's drop it right there. Okay. And we want to type in I, E Y E I. Let's drop, drop it in this closed I. Okay. Now for this icon, we want to go ahead and make them smaller. Hit K on your keyboard or you can come here and choose scale. So let's make it 16. 16, select this one K and you want to go ahead and make it 16. Okay. So with this out of the way, let's go ahead and select this. And also there's some form of arrangement right here. Because this and this is going to be on the same side, on the left hand side, why this will be on the right hand side. It now makes sense to group these two together before grouping these three but remember we are not going to use G right we are going to be using auto frame to you know group elements that are closer together now once it has to do with an icon and a text right you want to group them and then the space between you want to use something like four remember we are moving from four to eight to sixteen to twenty four just like that we we want to maintain that spacing so let me go ahead and click on select the two of them and click on shift a okay now you can go ahead and center this properly using the alignment and for the space between i want to go ahead and choose four okay enter so i have it there the next one now is to select the three of them because you know they are in the same row okay so i can select the two of them now and i want to do shift a again okay shift a now this is our container and for this for user input once it comes to the height, you want somewhere around 40 to 48, okay? But I always use 48 and it works all the time, okay? You want to use 40 to 48, but please don't go be below 40 for the height, okay? So 40, 48, and we want to center this right here. So let's go ahead and give that a color, fill, click, and you want to choose this white. Make sure you don't just use white, okay? Remember, we, we have a style guide here. So let me go ahead and turn this off for now. Let me turn off the grid. Okay, before I turn that off, let's adjust this. Let's give it a padding. So let's go ahead and give it a pattern of 16. Okay, now there's something I want to show you. Because these two things are placed apart, you want to make sure you set it to a uh, space between. And how do you do that? Once you come to this uh, center here, you want to double click. Okay, then you want to have these things apart. You want here to be automatic. That way, when I drag this this way, you can see, you can see that's what you want. Okay, so want to arrange it this way, and you also want to arrange it like this. Another thing we'd probably do here now is if you notice this particular user input, if you let's assume you want to type something longer. Okay, so because of that, we want to select here. And we want to make this instead of hog, we want to make it fill container. Okay. So that with this, instead of fixed, you want to also make it fill container. This way you can actually type in more content. Okay. Voila. So we have this now. So let's continue styling this. For our stroke, we want to go ahead and give it a stroke. And for our stroke, we want to use gray 500, our neutral 500. Okay. Let me go ahead and then scroll back up for our corner radius. Let's go in and type in eight. So let me deactivate this grid so that we can actually see what's going on. Hide it. Okay. So yes. So this is what we have so far. Okay. Now the next thing we need is our label. So for our label, let's pick the text to let's type in label. Okay. Remember, let's give it our color. No, no color gray 900 okay gray 900 that's the label i want to do ctrl d and for this one i'm just going to type in feedback okay i'm just going to type in feedback and i'm also going to do ctrl d somewhere around just here i'm just going to have in forgot password okay i think there's a typo right there okay so forgot password we have it there so the next thing we want to do now is to select these two because they are in the same row then we want to do shift a to add them in an auto layout okay shift a so the same thing we did here we want to come here and say uh 
space between double click so that you have it spaced okay because we want in case we are typing we want this one to always stay on the right hand side okay so you can also what you can also do is to select it and make sure you align it right so anytime you're typing it's starting from the right then you also want to select this feedback and make sure instead of hog it's set to feel okay awesome now once we are done with that we want to activate this and increase it so that you know it's on the margin if you can't do this just reactivate the um the grid so you can actually see what's going on now i want to go ahead and select one two three and then you can also do this you can click hold and select everything then you want to do shift a okay so once you do shift a you want to now the next thing you want to do is to set the space between so right now it is set to eight which is awesome so you want to use eight you don't want to use four so you can see that in between icon and text we are using four right now in between label and the container we are using eight now inside the form we are using 16 you can see the way we are progressing okay so this is what you want to do in order to maintain consistency so now we have all parts of our forms laid out properly okay what we now want to do is to go ahead let's change the name let's come back to here let's call this input field now what we want to go ahead and do now is to convert this to a component so let's convert it to components okay great now we've converted this components let's go to assets and let's search for input field because we just created it this is it right here input field now because right now there is no easy way to you know control these things just like we did with the button let's assume i don't want this label there's no easy way to you know control it but we can actually create that and we can do that by coming back here and adding boolean properties okay so let's select this label now let's go to sorry this label make sure you also set it to fill container okay now let's go to the layer okay and want to call this label great now for this this is our left icon okay make sure you're on layer okay our left icon create property left icon then here too we want to go to layer and want to say right icon right icon okay for here want to select this go to layer and we want to call that feedback feedback okay and this we just want to go to layer as well and call it uh, forget password okay show forget password okay that's good now when you come back to this instance you can see we now have these controls we have these controls we can turn them off and switch them on anyhow we want so it's working well now but another thing we still don't have an easy way to edit you know some of these things if not we have to manually go in and start editing i want to select this label again okay then under here under here want to click and click on create property we want to call it label text label text okay text then create then want to come to this feedback okay want to create feedback test feedback test so what you notice is that once you click here you can see label text feedback test okay and we want to click on this forgot password no need because this one will always be forgot password okay except you want to change it okay let's just go ahead since we are making it uniform let's go ahead and make it uh under here create property and instead of text two we want to put forgot password in front forgot password text okay okay forgot password test okay we are almost done now with this if i come back here the only thing that is not giving us uh, we are not is uh, able to change easily is this particular user input so what we want to do is to select this original one back okay now come to this plus sign then you want to click on next instance because this is an instance of um 
a component that is nested inside this one so we want to click on it and we want to tell it show user input right now if you come back here you can see we have that user input on and we can actually type in whatever input we want there or we can turn it off right and lastly we've not actually made any difference between the on and off so for this off once it's off we want to go ahead and change the color from 900 to 700 so it's lighter okay so basically we have our user input right here but the last thing we want to go ahead and do is to create states okay so we want to create states three states um let me bring this right here we want to select this and then we want to click on plus okay so we're just going to put in states okay and for this we are going to say active okay now we're going to put in plus again okay we are going to say error okay and we are going to put in plus again and we want to say disabled so once we have this we can go ahead and start styling them so what we want to do here is once it's active this particular one if it's active we want that outline should change to our primary color okay our primary color that's 15 okay great and for this one this error once it's active once it's an error we want to go ahead and change that color there to let's go to error let's choose error 500 and the feedback to all this text we want to change the feedback color to error 500 okay now you understand what we're trying to do and then if it is not active if they are not active let's go ahead and just change this to a very uh very fade out color let's go ahead with 400 okay i think 400 is too faint let's go ahead with 500 okay so when it's not active it's just going to be grayed out this way now once we've once we have something like this you can see that it's now easy for us to choose so if i select this it's easy for me to quickly come in here and select the default or the active states or i want to choose the error states okay or i want to choose the disabled state so this way it's easy for us to go ahead and create our form so if you are here congratulations you have created the form field the input field and in a later class we are going to go ahead and create our first design which will be a sign up and a sign in screen have a nice day